In my previous video, we covered the basics of these analog panel meters and how to measure the full scale current reading of the meters so you could apply it in your project. In today's short video, we're going to take a look at how to use a current shunt to change the full scale current reading of these meters. Before getting started, the first thing you'll want to do is adjust the centering screw on the front face of the meter, if it has one, to ensure that your dial pointer is lined right up with zero in the resting position. So to measure the full scale current like we showed in the last video, you take a variable power supply, typically 0 to 10 or 12 volts would be sufficient, uh, a known good end meter in series with a 10K resistor, in series with the meter that you're uh, testing. Adjust uh, the power supply until the meter reads full scale, and then read the full scale current on your end meter. Right, let's turn the power supply on and uh, ramp up until we get to a full scale reading. We're pretty close. Let me adjust the scale here. And it looks like we've got a full scale reading right there. So we're reading uh, just over 200 microamps. So let's just call it uh, a 200 microamp full scale meter. Okay, we know our full scale current reading is uh, 200 microamps. So now let's uh, also measure the full scale voltage. Now, of course, if you've got a, uh, an accurate voltmeter that you could just stick in parallel when you're making this measurement, you could just do this all at once. In my case, I've only got one bench DMM, and I want to use it to get the best precision. So I'm just going to uh, change it from being an ammeter, take it out of circuit, and then measure uh, the voltage across the meter at full scale using the voltmeter function. Okay, now with the DMM in parallel with the meter, let's uh, adjust my power supply now for a full scale current reading. Uh, let's see, it's just about there. i got to come down just a touch. Oops, let's see, let's go right about there. There's my full scale reading on the meter. And it looks like I'm showing uh, 184, or around that to 185 millivolts. Right, so now that we know our full scale voltage is 185 millivolts, we have all we need to know to determine what the shunt resistor ought to be. Now this meter has a uh, an ampere scale on the top that goes up to uh, 0.6 amps. So let's use that as an example here. So we'll, we'll set a target full scale reading of 600 milliamps. Now to calculate the value of a shunt resistor to put in parallel with the meter movement to reach our desired full scale deflection is a very simple calculation. Now we know that we're going to have, in this case, 600 milliamps of current flowing through this parallel combination at full scale. We also know the voltage across the meter at full scale, so that tells us the voltage across the resistor. We'll call that VFS. We also know that the current flowing through the meter is that 200 microamps that we measured earlier. That means that the difference between the full scale deflected current and the meter current is flowing through the shunt resistor. So there's the current flowing through the shunt resistor, the full scale deflected current, or 0.6 amps, minus the full scale current of the meter, which is 200 microamps. So that's where we get this equation. We know the voltage across the resistor, we know the current through it, it's a simple matter of computing that resistor. All right, so we've got uh, 185 millivolts uh, across the resistor, that's our full scale uh, voltage across the meter movement, and then we can take uh, 0.6 amps, and to, to subtract from that our 200 microamps and uh, divided by and we've got our shunt resistor is equal to just a little over 308 milliohms. Now my selection of low value resistors in my junk box is pretty abysmal so I had to cobble together a couple of power resistors and some smaller quarter watt resistors here in parallel to essentially reach my desired 308 uh, milliohm uh, uh, shunt resistor value. Now you'll notice I'm using the uh, four wire uh, resistance measurement that gives you the most accuracy especially when measuring uh, low values like the shunt resistor. So with my cobbled together shunt connected to the back of the meter we're ready to check how well we did. So to do that I hooked up to the power supply here and I'm going to use the power supply in uh, the current limit mode to help us out but there's lots of different ways that you could test uh, to see how well you did. So the first thing we'll do is set the current limit to uh, 0.1 amps which is well under what we designed for so it's a safe place to start. 
we'll adjust the voltage uh, until we go into constant current mode. So, so I'll switch over to my current limit and start ramping that up. And we should see that the meter should hit full scale uh, right at, let's see, that's just a little bit above, right there at uh, 0.6 amps, which is what we designed for. So now we know that uh, the current chart we put together is now accurately turning this meter into a 0.6 amp or 600 milliamp full scale ammeter. I hope you enjoyed today's short video on how to add a shunt resistor to an ordinary panel meter to change its full scale reading into something that you might need for a given project. Oftentimes the hardest part might be finding the low value resistors that you need to create that shunt. In some cases that shunt resistor might be so low in value that a simple length of wire uh, might provide you with enough low resistance to create the full scale current you're looking for. But in those cases uh, oftentimes you're going to need to measure that shunt resistor with a meter that can do a good four wire ohms measurement. And that might be a subject for a future video. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Hope you learned a little something. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And uh, tell your friends. Comments are always welcome. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.